Good evening. Abel, would you like to start? Hi. Uh, thank you all for staying this long here tonight. Um, my name is Abel Collins. I work for the Sierra Club in Rhode Island. Uh, we're an environmental organization, but uh, come before you here today to talk about tax policy, something that, uh, or income tax policy, something that Sierra Club does not normally take a stance on. But uh, circumstances uh, in the state demand it. You know, we are uh, facing a severe lack of revenue in this state. Uh, there are a lot of needs out there. Um, I'd like to, to take a step back from some of the testimony that we've heard, uh, you know, cast aside sort of the comparisons with other states, and really just ask, you know, what do we want to do with Rhode Island? We're all Rhode Islanders. What do the 100% of us want to see out of Rhode Island? Stop thinking about this as an issue of the 1% versus the 99% or the 2% versus the 98%. Where do we want to go as Rhode Islanders? Do we want to invest in this state and provide services so everybody can succeed? Um, those are the questions that we all need to answer as Rhode Islanders and that people here have a duty to answer. Um, right now, we're facing a $118 million deficit um, even that would only get us back to providing the services that we're currently providing. Uh, and we're deferring expenses on massive projects in terms of infrastructure. One of my specialties here in Rhode Island is talking about transportation reform. Uh, the Department of, of Transportation uh, estimates that they need about $300 million worth of uh, repairs and ongoing maintenance uh, construction just to keep Ro Rhode Island's roads in working condition. Now that money right now is money that we borrow. So that's money that Tom Seguros would say we're foisting on our future selves or hiding through, through debt. Um, we can no longer do this. Other states pay as they go. We need to start thinking about paying as we go. Otherwise the cost for our children not just for transportation, but for all these issues, are going to be significantly higher than they would be for us if we choose to pay for them right now. So I think, you know, investment now will pay off in the future. And I would be so bold as to say that if the bank accounts of the top 1% uh, earners at the end of the year are somewhat lower, a few thousand dollars lower, they will still be better off at the end of the year if we invest more in this state. They use our roads. They enjoy our beautiful beaches, our clean water. These are services that we pay for and that they cannot get without the state's funding. And we're all in this together. What does the 100% of us want? What are we going to do? We need resources to make it happen. Thank you. Thank you, Abel. Mr. Rose? 